One of the best things a JavaScript developer can do is to publish an npm package that is used by hundreds and thousands of other developers. And today, I'll show you how to publish your very first npm package. By the end of this video, you will have a package that checks whether you're an actual programmer. Let's dive straight in by creating an empty folder. To generate package.json file, type npm init-y. Now that we have the package JSON, let's update it. Start by adding your package name, which will be used with the npm install command. For instance, my package name will be as a programmer, allowing me to install it with npm install as a programmer. Include a description for your package and your name as the author. If you want to display a GitHub repository on the npm website, add the repository field with the type git. For the URL, create a GitHub repo and paste its URL into this field. And I will be doing this in a second. But for now, let's go ahead and create a file called index.js, which is our entry file. Now, this file is going to include a function called who am I, which outputs I am an actual programmer. And just export this function. And that's it for our package. Let's push our code to GitHub and link its URL to the URL field in the package.json file. Next, you need to have an npm account. Go ahead and create one for free. And in the terminal, log in by typing npm login. This will either log you in with the browser or prompt for credentials. After logging in, just type npm publish. And there you have it. This is how easy it is to publish an npm package. Also, there is something called a scope package. And it is these examples you see on the screen where they just have an add symbol and organization name slash in the package name. This can be useful for two scenarios. The first one is if you want to keep all of your packages under your organization name, this is the way to go. And the second benefit is if the package name you want to have is already taken, you can prefix it the package with your own organization. Now let's see an example for these scoped packages. Create an organization on the npm website and add that as a prefix to your package name. At this point, if you try to type npm publish, you're gonna get an error. So to fix this, include the access flag followed by public. This is necessary because by default when publishing a scope package, it is set to private access. Now you have just published a package for your organization as well. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope this was helpful enough to teach you something new today. If so, like and sub and I'll catch you in the next one.